Ten years ago, Easton's Dan Roy D.J. Henry was a promising college student when a New York police officer shot and killed him. The immediate police version of events placed the blame on Henry, but his friends and eyewitnesses told a very different story. This weekend, 48 Hours takes an in-depth look at his parents' crusade to clear their son's name. And CBS News special correspondent James Brown has a preview. Dan and Angela Henry had no idea this would be the last game they would watch their son play. DJ was a junior playing football for Pace University. A joy, a Pied Piper in the neighborhood, all of the kids loved him. In the early morning hours of October 17, 2010, the Henrys were startled awake with the devastating news that their son was shot to death in his car. And I said, who would shoot him? DJ was out celebrating with his teammates when other patrons got into a fight. Police say that DJ was parked in a fire lane in front of a bar, and when he was asked to move, he allegedly sped towards Officer Aaron Hess, propelling him on the hood and forcing him to shoot DJ. This is police dash cam video. On the right is Officer Hess. Behind him is DJ lying in the road. He had been pulled from the car and handcuffed. I'd like somebody to tell me what other alternative Aaron Hess had on the hood of a moving vehicle. Aaron Hess's lawyer, Brian Sokoloff. Other than trying to save his own life or closing his eyes and saying his prayers. We weren't doing anything wrong. Desmond Hines is one of DJ's friends who was in the car that night. He says that Hess began shooting at them unprovoked. We were in the wild, wild west. That's what it felt like. Despite the conflict, Officer Hess was cleared of criminal wrongdoing. And that would propel the Henrys on a seven-year journey to clear their son's name. Now you can see the full story on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 9 here on WBZ-TV.